So Amazon has 12 kilonewton carabiners. And just in case you don't know, spoiler alert, climbing carabiners are rated for eh, 20 to 24 or more. It's kind of scary the fact that there's carabiners floating out there that look like climbing carabiners. And so we bought a bunch from Amazon and we're gonna go over the different brands we got, what they say about them, and then brake test them. Stay tuned. I'm Ryan Jinx and I don't like 12 kilonewton carabiners because they look real. They look like climbing carabiners and let's find out what the description says these are straight off Amazon where we bought three different brands. First brand is Tit Coog, Titty Coog, Tight Tidy Kogo, 12 kilonewton aluminum horse carabiner clip, big size carabiners keychain. Now for a keychain carabiner, this is awfully large. Let me pull it out and see how big they really are. Magically, a knife appears. Ah! Fortunately, each one is wrapped in its own individual plastic, so I have more garbage to feel bad about throwing away when we're done breaking these. So it looks like it's about 75%, if I'm being generous, the size of a normal carabiner. Now, based on the image on Amazon, looks like they pulled one of the children out the assembly line to hold out their hand, to make the carabiner look bigger than it actually is. Now something Titty Kogo has on their main image here is uh, a guy attempting to climb something that's almost flat. So it does give me the vibe that you can use it for climbing. It does say light load application. The material is 7075 aluminum, which is interesting. I thought these would be like 6061 aluminum and that's what makes them weaker. I believe without trying to pretend to sound smarter than I am, it's a heat treatment step that they skipped in the aluminum. So the molecules are not as lined up and as strong. Look up T6 heat treatment processes on Google. You want to actually learn something about them. 2,697 pounds of force equals the total weight of 14 adult men. Don't even know what to say about that. Rust is not a concern. Well, thank God. They did say the carabiner heavy duty is not intended for climbing or other smaller uses. Choose a carabiner over 24 kilonewtons for that purpose. I appreciate that, I really do. Every order is backed by a 45 days trail, not trial, and five years no question asked warranty. Maybe I can get my money back for these because uh, we're gonna break them. Hopefully they don't ask questions. One of the features they say is we do not suggest you use it above 2,645 pounds of force. Do not use it for climbing because it's open gated. I don't think they understand what makes this weaker than a normal climbing carabiner. That's an open gate. That's a closed gate. And yes, they are stronger when they're closed. On a normal carabiner, when the gate is open, it is eight kilonewtons. The next carabiner we're gonna cover is Unijoy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of carabiners here, I'm getting mixed up. Unijoy sounds either like a sex toy or as Bobby said, a cult. But instead, it's a carabiner brand. Here we have some more plastic. And it's also a very tiny carabiner as opposed to our larger one. This is also rated for 12 kilonewtons. It's heavy duty. It's made for camping, hiking, and hammocks, etc. It's a small aluminum carry beaner. Beaners. Carry beaners. Maybe they do that because people spell it wrong and this way their items found. But people who spell it wrong probably shouldn't be buying 12 kilonewton carabiners because they may not know the difference. Each carabiner clip features minimum braking strength at 12 kilonewtons. You definitely can use them on a hammock or kayak. They do say in the description, not for climbing. That is nice. It is made from durable aircraft aluminum as opposed to the non-durable kind. This is a one-handed operation as opposed to the other carabiners that are one-handed operations. So these off-the-shelf stock images with carabiners photoshopped into them has a gal way too excited about what she's reading, a guy with a man bun you could get jealous over, or, oh, that's right, a life supporting situation with somebody doing aerial yoga using these. Just in case you didn't know from the image, don't use these for life supporting aerial yoga. So at the end of their video for only about two seconds, it says warning, not for climbing. And the top images are clearly approved since there's not a little tiny X on them. One is for cuddling, 
It's good for cuddling. One for setting up a tent. Good for that. One for a hammock where it looks like they're laying in it very uncomfortably. And also, again, the aerial silks I love so much. But it is not for overhang climbs, climbing in the gym, zip lining in Costa Rica, or doing window cleaning in industrial applications. Now to inform us how strong these really are, they tell us it's good load bearing. And then show us another cheap stock image of industrial lift rigging. That's uh, a little deceiving. Again, it's palm size, unlike most carabiners, and it's one-handed operation. Look at that dexterity I have. And you can explore the world with these. The next carabiner we have is a Land Rover, an L -ro Rover. It's like ASMR, but for destroying the planet. This carabiner feels more tiny than the other ones. We have another small childlike hand holding this, making it look giant. Also, 12 kilonewtons. Heavy duty care e beaner. I don't even know how to spell carabiners anymore. <laughs> Is it with an I or an A? I'm so confused now. Nope, they have both spellings on here. I think that's an Amazon SEO thing. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because I understand clickbait titles. These can easily handle up to 2,645 pounds of force. We'll find out about that. But it also says it has a quick instant lock. That takes about four or five spins. Maybe they've never heard of an auto locker, two-way locking. A simple twist the barrel and push against the spring load will open. Automatic relocking when you release the pressure. I'm not sure they ever used the product before writing this description or ever passed an English exam. Luckily for us, this is a 36 month warranty. I don't know from what. Their warranty is longer than others and it's unconditionally refunded. I hope this episode is gonna cost me less than I originally thought. <laughs> Lifetime friendly customer service. We'll find out. Okay, in their image, they got two backpackers going over what looks like a mountain. They're not technically climbing, but you could mistake that maybe. You got a child in a hammock. That's perfectly good for what these are used for. And then you got the kind of monopod hammock that uh, looks life supporting. But if you're not up high, maybe it's not such a big deal to fall on your ass. Somebody had a really good question in the question section. Can a seven-year-old operate the lock mechanism? Yes, if they can unscrew an untightened water soda bottle lid, they can undo this lock. The second answer was probably not, maybe a 10-year-old with practice. This is made of superior, durable, lightweight aircraft 7075 aluminum material, as opposed to non-superior 7075 aluminum material. I do believe they did skip the heat treatment process. Put in the comments below if you know why these are so much lower than a normal carabiner. And don't say size, I'm gonna show that to you in a minute. But before we do break tests, I want to show you the video that comes with this product of a third party marketer, somebody who's clearly trying to do a side gig and a side hustle, making money on the side. I'm not trying to knock them too hard, other than the fact they've never touched a carabiner in their life, but apparently, these are great. We have a great little product to show you guys. It is this great little clip here. It'd be great. This is gonna be great. A really great material that has great grips. Really great. This is gonna be great. All those different great things as well as a really great modern design. See you next time. Bye guys. If there's one thing I walked away with from that video was, these are great. These are great for a lot of things. Isn't that great? Now I thought I was the master of making videos on topics I know nothing about. This, this lady takes the cake. It is 12KN, and it says it right there, as well as L Rover. Now this last clip got my blood boiling, so much so that I'm very excited to make this video. This is gonna be great for things like rock climbing. Now somebody who's read the description, read the label, L Rover and 12KN, and tells us how great the screw thing is, can be like, it's great for climbing, she clearly shows that people can mistake these things for climbing use. Now, if you've never really climbed or if you've never really seen real climbing carabiners, you might think a carabiner is a carabiner. However, this guy says in the reviews, I have been using carabiners for years, okay? I run across this product by chance and couldn't be happier. Don't take it the wrong way. Four millimeter is plenty for many use. 
and I just feel more secure the further it screw on. <sighs> trying to keep this friend, trying to keep this family friendly, okay guys? But with only four millimeter of screw, the carabiner is rated for 2697 pounds of force, which is way more than many people will use it for. Which, totally true, totally true. That's a lot of force. And it is meant for people climbing or rappelling. Use at your own risk and do research before taking my word for it. All right, people have blamed me for bad information. Come on. Technically, if you repel, you're not putting on more than one or two kilonewtons, and this is ready for 12. Yes, that's a 10 to 1 safety ratio, but this is not meant for climbing. Ironically, these are. Let me show you these. These are approximately the same size, but this is a camp carabiner, and it is rated for 21 kilonewtons. So just so you don't get confused, this is a camping carabiner and this is a camp carabiner. I'm so sorry for dragging this out, but the descriptions on Amazon are really, really the most interesting part to me. Now let's brake test these things and find out what they're really rated for. Seventeen point three six is really impressive. Wow, seventeen ish. Pretty good for uh, titty con chongo, titties chongo, tight congo. I'm, that's even worse. Okay, so. I'm pretty impressed though. I'm pretty impressed. It's still not good for climbing. I hope this isn't really a commercial for these things because I don't want anybody to buy them. That's why I'm making a video about them. But at least it's not 11. So this is um, one of the <laughs> whatever. Yep, yep. And then this is oh, the so joy that just rocked it out here. Wow. That, that's, are you convinced that you shouldn't be within line of sight? <laughs> okay, so we got 18.76 on our third test. What do you think of those, Bobby? Uh, I think they fly around the room really great. This one bounced off of there and then somehow knocked Ryan's cup off of over there. Uh, but I wouldn't use one of these. I'm not going to share my opinion about the fact that they're 50% stronger than they say. But this gate broke on one side and then straightened out. I think that's super interesting. I've never had a carabiner do that in all of our brake tests. Now it's time to test our L Rover. We have no idea where that carabiner is. Have we checked uh, way out here? Oh, look, a mini drop tower. Looks like an Egyptian mummy. So I'm grateful they're not 11 kilonewtons. I'm glad they are breaking higher than they are rated for. I think what I'm most irritated with is the marketing and how it alludes to what you can use it for. Uh, but for legalese, they say it's not for climbing. These are very similar to what a normal climbing carabiner looks like, feels like, and operates like. And so put in the comments below why you think these are rated so much lower and break, they will break lower than this. We're gonna test this in just a minute. Please, please do not use these for climbing. They're not for this, it's not an endorsement for this, it's an endorsement not to do this, okay? Uh, there is a reason these are over 20 kilonewtons and there is a cyclic loading issue. You, you don't want to bring aluminum to a certain point too close to its braking strength because you get metal fatigue. So you need it stronger than you need it. Get it? So there's a lot more that goes into this, not to mention there's the UIAA and everyone's like creating standards for a reason and making sure that these meet those standards. So these aren't rated by anybody. They're rated by some bad marketing. And uh, 
I don't really trust it. Not to mention continuity. Are they always going to break that high? These go through a rigorous process and they're proof loaded and all that stuff to make sure you're safe. Come on, it's your life. So not to confuse you with a camping carabiner, we're going to brake test a camp climbing carabiner that is named the 22 Nano, but is rated for 21 MBS. Gosh, that's confusing. Yes, I know it's the weight of the carabiner they named it after, but okay, let's just go break it. <laughs> Bonus! Uh, we have decided to uh, break another uh, climbing carabiner. This one is from Metolius. We noticed that these look real similar. Like, it would be really easy to get these two confused. This is the Unijoy. Um, and we are interested to see what the strength difference is. Let's put it in. <laughs> What do you think, Bobby? Um, it is stronger. <laughs> this sounded stronger when we were breaking it, and then it rocketed out into the yard. <laughs> Clearly, this episode is not sponsored by anybody since we made fun of so many people. If you want to buy climbing gear on Amazon, make sure it's from a reputable brand that has been certified by reputable organizations. We have another video where we have tested other carabiners on Amazon that are technically for climbing, some rated, some not. Check out that video.